I get SkyQ on my home cinema projector? Now, many of our clients have actually found the My Perfect Cinema website by searching for answers to this very question. So while there are a number of caveats and variables that will go into answering this question that I will talk about as we continue, the core answer to this question is yes. In fact, not only can you watch Sky, you can watch pretty much every TV or movie service through modern projectors. The only thing that you have to think about different to a television is that with a projector, you don't have any internal apps. So if you are looking for content from the likes of Netflix, you're gonna to have to make sure you've got a box that is gonna be able to deliver that for you and that you can plug in. Something like a Roku box or an Apple TV. The good news is though that Sky offers most of the applications nowadays, including the likes of Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Disney Plus. So how does it work? Here's the deal. Say you have a Sky box and you want it to play on your brand new shiny projector. The first thing you will need to do is get a wired, yes, wired, connection between the skybox and the projector. The only way that this should be done is with a high quality HDMI cable. Anyone that tries to tell you that you can beam good quality video and audio to a projector doesn't have honestly any idea what good video and audio looks or sounds like. Trust me when I say that there is no substitute for a strong, reliable wired connection. So you have a wired connection between your projector and skybox, which means that the whole signal is going between the two, video and audio together. Now, while some projectors come with internal speakers, most home cinema projectors, you're probably not gonna want to use them. You're probably gonna wanna combine it with a sound system of some kind. So to separate the signal and send the video to the projector and the audio to the sound system, you're going to need an audio video receiver. So once you have that, you now have a projector with a HDMI going into the video output of the AVR receiver, and you have another HDMI going from the skybox into one of the source inputs on your AV receiver. Connect up your speaker system, and you are near enough ready to enjoy all of the latest movies and films from whatever sources you're using. Great thing about an AVR is, unlike a projector, you can actually add three or potentially even more individual sources so that you can just select whether it's a Blu-ray player or a Skybox or it's your Roku box, rather than having to switch and change with the projector if you were to connect them directly. So one potential problem though with all of this is that you've created the need for multiple controllers for all of your kit. Moreover, most of them work on infrared except for the modern Skyboxes, which are now Bluetooth, which means you need direct sight to the kit to control it. Now, in most modern cinemas and media rooms, it is common to have all the kit hidden away, either in an AV rack somewhere or in an empty, well-ventilated cupboard to maintain that clean-looking, uncluttered aesthetic. Also, good advice to keep it under lock and key if you have kids. So the answer to this would be to consider a control system for your cinema. A single room can be pretty simple and cost-effective to control, but whatever the cost, the level of convenience and comfort added by having a control system vastly outweighs the price more often than not. Just make sure you have a smart home or home cinema integrator program that system for you because these systems tend to only be as good as the person programming them. Not only do these systems bring all elements of control into one place, it also allows for multiple commands to be executed at once. So instead of pressing one button to turn on the projector, then another button on another controller to turn on your AVR and so on and so forth, one press will execute all of the commands necessary to get you ready for watching your content even including the ambience elements like lighting and shading. It's also important to note that if you are wanting 4K video distributed throughout your home, only the main sky boxes can deliver it. Mini boxes are only capable of HD video. You may also heard of power line adapters. This technology uses your mains cabling around your home to boost the Wi-Fi signal to the farthest corners of your property. While this is a useful tech, the bandwidth capability on these is not good enough to provide truly high quality video and audio. So always opt for a wired connection where possible. Once again, if you found this video helpful, then please remember to like and subscribe to our channel as it massively helps our efforts to continue making this content for you.